this is the atlatl, the spur, atlatl weight, the working portion of the atlatl, which is traditionally the atlatl is 24 inches long, handle, optional finger loops either way. Some people use them, some people don't. Then what happens is you've got your spear or your dart. Traditionally, we'll call them darts instead of spears because spear, you think of a larger uh, implement itself. You'll have your fletching, a concave depression in the back of the dart itself, which butts up to your spur, like so. Pinch the side walls of the dart, and then it's just forward casting motion. Down. What you're doing is you're, you're physics wise, you're transferring energy. You've extended your arm 24 inches and you're transferring energy. When you start your forward motion and start to cast it, what's happening is you're driving energy into this dart. Then the dart, what the dart will do is as you drive that energy into the back of the dart, the dart flexes on it. When the dart flexes, it pops three, four real good bows. Sometimes in some of the pictures that we've got, we've actually had these bend almost into a U shape, depending on how flexible the shaft is of this. So as that flex, that causes the energy to project the dart down the course. Locked and loaded, ready to go.